Not every prayer is answered in the way or in the time that we want it to be answered. And that's hard. Because it can make us question if God really is who God says God is. Loving, mighty to save, healer, prove it. Just, liberator, binder of the brokenhearted, prove it. Sometimes God does, okay? Sometimes God does. I've prayed, I have prayed for people who have been healed. Physically, spiritually, emotionally. I have seen hard hearts melt and, and systems that seem set in stone begin to shift. Though not without storms, not without struggle. I've seen God break chains in my own life and I've seen God break through in others' lives. But there is no formula because God is not a divine vending machine. Instead, the witness of our foremothers and forefathers in the faith of those who were sometimes delivered in their times of need and also sometimes not is one that points to a bigger picture, points to a longer view. We stand in the, in the tradition of Esther, okay, who was saved from genocide. We stand in the tradition of three young men unsinged in a Babylonian furnace. We stand in the tradition of the Apostle Paul who was rescued miraculously from jail. We do. And we also stand in the tradition of so many prophets who experienced only their words falling on deaf ears. We stand in the tradition of Bathsheba whose husband was killed by the lust of a supposedly God-fearing king. We stand in the tra tradition of Jesus and Peter and Paul as well, who were not delivered from death at Roman hands. You know, I bet the disciples would have loved for Jesus to, to have told the wind to die down before it had the chance to make them think they were about to die. You know, maybe just a little bit earlier. It's like when it starts blowing a little bit, and you can calm it down. Jesus did save them, but not in the way or the time that they wanted. In the words of one commentary, sometimes God saves us from trouble. We love, those, we love those moments. Didn't even have to experience it. Sometimes God saves us in trouble. Just a little bit would be preferable. Not too much. Sometimes he saves us from death. And we give thanks for that. But sometimes we are asked to trust God's power to save beyond death. Sometimes we are asked to trust God's power to save beyond death, to raise us even from death. For that's the story of Jesus Christ. That's the story of the one in whom all our life is found. The one who is with us in the storm. The resurrection of Jesus, which we are fast approaching as Easter's on the horizon, it tells us that our God is one who has power even beyond death. 